What's up, Soul family and my baddies? Today, we're going to take a trip. So, gas up your car and get ready for this ride. So, I decided I need to take a trip. And um, the, reason that, the reason why is because I want y'all to understand, Soul family and baddies, that not every situation is not what it seems, okay? So, for the safety of your child and the safety of your family, sometimes you have to make major moves, okay? Now, if you are in a situation where you're in a relationship, all right, you have to make conscious decisions, okay? You have to make mindful decisions. You have to make decisions that is best for you and the child. If you are in a relationship where they don't seem to understand, meaning if they if you're dealing with someone who comes off insecure or they more so care about what their family and their friends think then sometimes you may have to leave them behind if they're not thinking from a conscious level okay i know sometimes it's easier to just go off argue back and forth with them and and, and make your point across you got to get your point across some form of fashion but sometimes it ain't worth it you have to mute the situation at all costs you know what i'm saying Meaning, like, if they go off and assume that you off with a whole other person, a whole other man, or a whole other relationship, and you go running off, start fucking off, and you really ain't going nowhere to fuck off, it's just really in their mind because they insecure with themselves, then you need, that's when you have to make a decision. Is this person worth being with fully? Because all they think about is who you going to lay up in the bed with. They're not confident to know that who they decide that they want to be with is the person that they can trust even when they're out of town or even when you leave town okay especially for my industry ladies if you are in the industry and you with someone who only thinks about who you're going to sleep with instead of how you take care of your business it's something that you may have to reconsider okay if they the type of person to try to get back with somebody they used to deal with all because they worried about whether you with somebody else then guess what then you need to reconsider them if they're the type to uh instigate situations with their friends and family to turn their friends and family against you guess what that's somebody you need to reconsider when you dating someone you want to be able to trust them all right especially if you consider being um what's the word taking things to the next level if you're willing to take the things to the next level then you need to know what you're dealing with Okay, you need to know if that's a person that you want to spend the rest of your life with. If that's the person that you're willing to consider, because if they're willing to put you in in situations that is endangerment for you and your child, then that ain't the king. That ain't your king. All right, all right. So take that in consideration, ladies. A king is not only going to be a person that provides for you. A king is going to always make sure that you're in a safe environment. You and your child okay that's a king a king will never put you in competition he'll never put you in a situation where you feel like you always got to be in defense mode a king will never put you in a situation where you feel like that you are the peasant if he calls you his queen all right a queen should not have anything to worry about all right she gonna hold the fort down she's always gonna make it be known hey i got a king all right no matter what situation that she may be in all right she might be dealing with a stalker all right if he understands your situation if he know what he signed up for then he should also understand that okay my friends and family should not control a situation when it comes down what what goes on between me and her i understand that's all they matter all right what's understood don't need to be explained is what i'm saying all right when you got to constantly explain yourself as his woman, as his queen, he ain't your king because a king will understand through silence. I'm just saying, you wouldn't be in the middle of an altercation. You wouldn't be in the middle of a fight. He'll always know how to defend you because he's not concerned about how he looks. He's concerned about how y'all look together. That's what a queen going to do. So the king should be able to be able to reflect that same energy back onto you. If he got a constant go back and forth with you about something that don't even exist just because he's not in your presence, he's too insecure to be with you, baby. He's too insecure. All right. Everybody want a baddie. Everybody want a bad bitch. Every, you know what I'm saying? I told you I don't like the word bad bitch, but you know that's you know that's what they calling them these days. Everybody want 
the it girl. Everybody want that female that everybody that all the niggas want. But guess what? Let me tell you something. All right. In order to have that kind of expectation in your life, and I'm talking to the fellas, you got to be confident enough that you know that your woman is always going to hold her coochie down, her body down, her mind down, regardless of whether you're around or not. Okay? If that's too much for your soul, then you need to go pray about it. Okay? Maybe an insecure female will love that type of shit. All right? So, with that being said, you don't want to put yourself, ladies, you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you feel like you got to constantly defend yourself. You got to constantly defend yourself. This person is conflicted with themselves. You don't have to go back and forth with them. You don't have to be all loud and you ain't got to be all bogus. That person want to be bogus. Let them be bogus. They want to start shit with you. Hey, guess what? They lost a good one. All right? And the pen... And depending on what they say and how far they'll take it, they might have lost you forever. Alright? So, men, you gotta be you gotta be very mindful of what you say, watch your words. Ladies, watch your words too. Because arguing don't make a situation better, okay? And a person can't argue by themselves. Alright? So do what you gotta do. Take care of you. Love you. Okay? Get to know you. Alright? Fellas. I, mean, I got to say this too. Don't focus on the coochie. Focus on the mind. Ladies, don't focus on the ding lane Focus on the mind. Y'all get so dick whipped, y'all y'all worry about the wrong damn shit. Okay? If a woman say, I got to get somewhere for the safety, or if, a, if just, it's, it's no different from when a man tell a woman, hey, get in the house, get in the house, because they peep some shit that's about to go down. Okay, you ought to trust your woman as if the woman should trust you when it comes down to something getting ready to happen. All right, are we mature now? Can we handle this? And understand this: HIV is real. Okay, you just can't be out here fucking. You can't be out here fucking. So if you got a female, you feel like she's just gonna be out here sleeping and, and doing all this and that and the other, then why would you even put yourself in a situation where you feel like you was gonna be with somebody forever who's just gonna be out here fucking? Okay, once you have less, learned that lesson the first time in a previous relationship, then you should have already moved on and, and, and your mind should have evolved enough to know that, okay, I know the next person I deal with won't be out here fucking. Is that too much for your soul? If it is, go pray about it. All right. So that's all I got to say, y'all. That was the message. I just had to put that out there because I feel like when well, anytime I feel like I'm finna go, ugh, I vomit some words i say you know what fuck that shit i'm gonna i'm gonna do this in peace and love and i'm gonna sh give shout out to my women and my fellas who are doing the right thing all right because i love y'all all right and understand this me myself i'm not the type of woman to sit there and go back and forth with you once i said what i said and once once i said what i said i meant what i said if you're the type of person that like to reword the shit i say to you and and, and and gossip and do all type of nonsense was it worth it was it worth it? That's what you got to ask yourself. Was it worth it? All right? So understand this and understand this clearly. Especially if you all consider yourself as a king. A king going to supply that woman a household. Okay? He's going to provide that for her. Especially if she have a child. He's going to make sure that he has that for her. Ain't nobody going to be going back and forth with nobody who got them worried about what their friends and their family think. Don't do that. Okay? We mature here. All right? So, that's all the message I got. All right? Y'all be blessed. Stay blessed. Stay humble. Stay healthy. Most of all, peace.